Blessed be everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing a tarot reading and the reading that I'm doing is from the deck of Alan Cannon Reed's deck, The Witch's Tarot, which is a beautiful deck. I don't even know if you can still get it now. I bought it back in the 1990s and uh, it's um, a truly beautiful card. It's very Kabbalistic based very much on the Kabbalah. There's some differences between it and your normal way of reading uh, the tarot cards that are based on the Waite Smith deck, but absolutely beautiful, beautiful cards. Before I do the reading though, I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com, author of Crafting Your Wiccan Path. If you wanna know more about Wicca and witchcraft, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. I also do videos on tarot and also on shadow work. If you wanna know where you can learn to read the tarot, I have a course that is coming out in the next month. So I'm gonna put a link in the description field underneath this video where you can sign up to my newsletter so that you can find out more about it when it actually does uh, happen. And uh, you can learn the tarot and become a tarot reader, a confident, tarot reader whether that's just for yourself or whether you want to read for other people so sign up for my newsletter if you're not already on my mailing list to find out more about when that is coming up so I'm going to do a reading and this is something for you that will be applicable within the next 24 to 48 hours or it may even have been something that's already started Okay, so we've got a king. So with this particular deck, it's a little different to your Waitsmith deck, as I said before. The court cards, instead of representing people in this deck, they represent a, a, a point of manifestation of something. The court cards follow the four worlds of manifestation in the Kabbalah. So in this case, the king represents the very, very first stage of the initiation of an idea coming from perhaps a need. So this represents, for those of you who are familiar with the Kabbalah, the first world of absolute. I'm probably not pronouncing that properly. I'm not Jewish, so I don't pronounce Hebrew necessarily that great. So the king here is the king of pentacles. So this is something that's probably, I feel, coming from a need. And while you may not know what the result is going to be or how it's going to manifest or even what is going to manifest at this level, there's a need to manifest a change in your physical or material circumstances because it's pentacles. So pentacles are still the material world in this deck. So I'm going to have to grab another card now to go into a little bit more detail about what that might be with this particular deck. Oh, okay, the card fell out there. Okay. Hmm. Okay, big changes. The death card. So this is real transformation. Even in this deck, the death card still represents change and transformation. This is a major transformation and because it's, it's upright, it should be a positive change or a positive transformation for you. So whilst you may not even be aware that this has started, it has started and it started because you have a need, a material need. So this could be in your finances, this could be where you live, this could be with your health, something that's on that material uh, grounded earth plain thing so it's not in, it's not to do with emotions it's not to do with uh, your thoughts or your thinking or ideas uh, it's not to do with your passions it's to do with really physical things so health material circumstances so if you can think of something perhaps that you've been wanting to change or that you have a need of some sort there's major changes coming in from that and it's going to totally change uh, your life in some way. And with all change, you're going to have to navigate your way through the change. Even a positive change can be stressful for the ego. So 
even though you, there may be fear in the change or nervousness in the change because it may bring something that you're not familiar with, allow yourself to take time out and navigate your way through the change in a way that is harmonious to the change. See this change in its positive light, even if it comes out of circumstances that might be uh, difficult or something. Look for what's good in this change because that is what the combination of these two cards are saying to me today anyway. So that is the King of Pentacles here and the Death card. Reading it from the Alan Cannon Reads, The Witch's Tarot, which is read a little bit differently to the way you would normally read, particularly the King. Not so much the Death card, but the King particularly has a very different uh, meaning in this deck. So once again, if you want to learn tarot with me and you want to keep abreast of when the tarot course is coming, the name of the course is the Confident Tarot Reader because that's what you're going to be by the end of it. Confident in your ability to be able to read tarot. You're going to get a lot of opportunities to practice and that's really where your tarot reading's coming from with confidence. It's just practice, practice, practice. It's like everything you've got to do, do in order to be good at something. Tarot reading isn't any different, but it's also the way that you see the, the, the way that you relate to the cards, your personal connection to the cards. Reading the cards intuitively, a lot of people struggle with that. Uh, getting your head in, out of the way, getting rid of the blocks to reading the tarot, where you just look at the cards and go, oh my God, I have no idea what they mean. And even though you may be familiar with all of the meanings of the cards, when they come together in a reading and you look at them together and you think, I have no idea why, how this card can relate to that card in that position and where this is going. <laughs> so the Confident Tarot Reader will help you figure that out. So there's a link to being on my newsletter if you're not already on my mailing list to find out more about that course. If you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. I am Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. Blessed be.